All right, are you guys ready for the next comic come to the stage? Yeah. Well, please give a warm welcome to Donnell Ellis. Hey, how's everybody doing? Good. You guys see me last week? Yeah. yeah I'm about to do that shit again. <laughs> Like he said, my name is Donnell Ellis. I'm proud of that name, Donnell. Donnell means of highest nobility, king of the world. When I first heard that, I thought that name was like the coolest thing you've ever wanted to hear. Then I had a reality check. I got a girlfriend. <laughs> tell you fellas, if you ever get a girlfriend, you got you something you think is cool to you, don't tell her. You're not gonna get the same reaction. I looked at her and said, babe, do you not know my name means of highest nobility king of the world. They did this shit. She looked at me and said, Nigga, you gonna take the fucking trash out? <laughs> I was pissed because I couldn't believe this white bitch just called me a nigga just now. <laughs> I said, it's some bullshit. But after a long period of time and stuff like that, things, things happen in your relationship. After a long time being in a relationship, you guys, how long have you guys been in a relationship? Oh, okay, my well, upside. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, where, where's, where's, the, um, where's that gay guy at? I had a question. Take it, I'll ask you. You might know. If you, listen, listen to what I'm saying. If you're, a gay guy, if you're a gay woman, and then there's another gay woman and you guys are together, and one of the gay women has a sex change, and now she's got a penis, are you still gay? <laughs> No, I'm just asking, because you guys are, to which she's, never mind, forget it, I'll talk to you about it later. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <spooky. laughs> oh, sorry, that was, I'm sorry. <laughs> you had to think it through first, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we did this last week, and after the operation, we did this other thing. I didn't say that's fine. <laughs> But no, man, after being in a relationship a long time, a lot of things changed. In the beginning of a relationship, like me and my relationship, in the beginning it was fine. It was a nice thing. Every, all the little things you do in the beginning is, is all beautiful, you know what I mean? You get her a gift, and she's like, oh, thank you, oh my God, this is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I got my lady a, a little rock with her name on it. And she's like, oh my God, this is cute, this is beautiful. 20 years later, I get her a rock, bitch hit me in the back of the head. <laughs> I'm like, you liked it the last time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even, even sex, sex is even beautiful in the beginning. You know what I mean? We used to play little games. You know when you guys go to little birthday parties, you guys play pin and tail on the donkey. And, you know what I mean? You play beautiful games. Me and her, we try to recreate those games. Go pin a penis on the honky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or what I like to, what I like to get pin, pin that honky's tail. <laughs> he got that look. Let's gay now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you know, she used to take this nice little lacy little number and she put it around my eyes and spin me around and come find me, honey. And that was beautiful. 20 years down the line, it changes a little bit. Now she takes a black plastic bag with a zip tie wrap. <laughs> find me, fucker. Out the fucking door. I can't fucking breathe, my son comes in, bye. Dad, you're really losing it right now. You're really losing it. You should have left the damn house. But the good part about it is she care about you. You know what I mean? Regardless to what, she's your friend, she cares about you, she loves you, everything. First in the beginning of the relationship, you guys get into an argument, it's a disagreement. No, no, you're right. I'm wrong, you're right. This is me saying this to her because women ain't never wrong. No, you're right, babe, you're right. I understand. And then all of a sudden, later on, years down the line, it changes. You know what I mean? Fuck you, fuck you too. God, you make me sick. You make me sick. I'm like, bitch, you better go to bed. It changes, man. But that's how you stay together. That's the way you stay together, man. You got anybody got kids out here? Yeah, I hate them, I hate you too. <laughs> Can't stand kids, man. I work with kids 
and you not know that the state, when they get rules for these rules and regulations for the facility, I don't think they think about it. They gave me a rule once. One of the rules is if a kid masturbates at the job, you can't stop them. Okay, that's fine. You can't touch them. Okay, that's fine too. Just make sure they don't do it in a community place, like the living room. So if I see Johnny in the living room, how the hell are you gonna stop Johnny from jacking off in the living room? Like, what are you gonna say to him? Ah, uh, he's doing it in here on my shift. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of other kids in here. What do you say to him? Johnny, you can't stop staring at him. God, I better hurry up before he really just lets one loose. So, Johnny, oh God. Johnny, I'm not looking at you. I'm not, I don't see you. But can you stop doing that? Just, no, don't stop. But just, can you move it to the other room? No, watch out, Katie, watch out. He's coming through with it. No, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. No, go ahead. No, you're doing a good job. No, yeah, you, yeah, you're doing it right. You're doing it right. No, switch the other hand. It's called the stranger. You're fine. You're fine. You'll be okay. You know what I mean? You hate to think to yourself, you're watching them. You know what I mean? Am I a pedophile or not? Because I'm watching this. He's a little bigger than I am. I thought the black thing would do it, but it doesn't. So, you know what I mean? This kid's like 13. You know what I mean? You're gonna get dates, brother. You're gonna get dates. So what do you do to that? You don't know what to do with it. But I just can't, you know what I mean? I can't wait after this, I'll be retired. And that'll be a nice thing to retire on and you know, stuff like that. But the worst part about getting older is, uh, you ever had an exam? Yeah, older people, we do those exams. You know what I mean? Guys, we do that at one exam. Damn, it just can't. No. It's just not a good thing. Doctor does my chest. And, you know, your heart rate is good. Everything is good. This is good. That's good. Everything. Now turn around, Mr. Ellis. <laughs> bend over. And I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> really? You got to go by the round the back piece? <laughs> you sure you want to do that? I had a lot to eat. Tell me, don't want to get nothing on you. <laughs> I'm looking out for you, not for me. You understand what I'm saying? And please, you know what I'm saying? You need warm up to me or nothing. You ain't even get my number. You ain't gonna buy me nothing to eat. Nothing. You're just gonna go right up in my piece. Okay, you gotta put the glove on. You know what I mean? Why you gotta go all the way down your whole arm with the glove? You don't have to go that far down with the glove. What do you plan on doing? Jesus Christ, we just met. This is like the third visit, ain't it? So you go to the whole arm. Get that. And he was like, you know, just embrace yourself. How the heck am I going to embrace for this? What am I going to do? No, it's quite all right. It's going to be totally fine right now. Just hold on a second. Wait a second. What are you taking your shoes off for? Just wait a second. You ain't going to put the glove on your foot? I'm saying. So I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm like, just please. Just, I'm trying to think of other things while it's happening. What can you think of? You're going to think of baseball? <laughs> you know what I mean? Think of baseball, the game. Bad Jesus Christ, wait a minute, hold on a second. How much of this are you using? Just one, two, just one. Why you gotta use two fingers? Jesus Christ, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden you go over it, I, I just totally lost it. You know what I mean, totally lost it. I'm trying to relax and I'm like, bam, pass right out. You know what I'm saying, I'm out, I'm out. You know what I'm saying, at this point, I'm, you know what I mean, I'm trying to run and my legs are doing all this shit here, I'm out, it's over. And all of a sudden, I, you know, when you're out, you're passed out. You don't know what's going on completely with your passed out. You know what I mean? So I hear stuff. As I'm, as I'm passed out, I hear stuff. I hear, look at that. You know what I mean? I hear stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Throw a pen in and make a wish. Like, you know, what's going on? You know what I mean? What's going on? I'm like, cat. You know what I mean? What the heck is happening? You know what I mean? It got really, really bad. You know what I'm saying? Back it up. You know, you know, put the hoist over the sway. I'm like, what is this? I was out. You know what I mean? I come to. You know what I mean? He's in handcuffs. And you know what I'm saying? He's looking at me going, sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, this wasn't meant to be. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, are you at least going to call me tomorrow? Jesus Christ. Are you going to call me? This is bull. You know, and I'm like, where the hell are your clothes at? You done lost all your clothes. 
It wasn't a good experience for me. How was your experience? Why didn't you pay for it? Exactly. You feel me? I asked one guy before I even went. I said, what is that like, man? He said, oh, that's fine. Oh, it's nice. It's not a bad thing at all. Really? <laughs> I'm like, and you're married? You know, and he's like, yeah. And then I'm thinking in my head, what happened to him and his wife? You understand what I'm saying? Because I was with her once or twice. She had a dildo about this big. <laughs> so I understood that whole concept. So how you ladies doing over here? You still got your heart going, right? I want to say I apologize if I said anything really, really messed up, but I'm sure it's nothing you've heard. You're married. <laughs> Wow, this is decent. This is decent. So anybody else got kids out here? Yeah. No? <laughs> Smart guy. That's a beautiful thing, man. You got grandkids. You look like you're in the great grandkids stage. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I give you the mic, but I'm, you know what I mean? I was just talking about that. I was just talking about this kid. <laughs> All right, ladies, I got, ladies and gentlemen, I got one last joke. That guy told the gross joke that was up here. That was crazy, right? I shouldn't do stuff like that. My son, he tells me all the time, Dad, check it. Tell this joke the next time you go on stage to see if they like that. And I said, okay, I'll do it. He gave me a joke and he says, um, this is a special fruit and it looked just like an apple. I thought it was cool. He said, yeah, this is an apple. This fruit is specifically for, for people who don't have a lot of money. Okay, why is that? He said, because it tastes like three or four different types of fruits. I'm like, okay, so I took a bite. I said, wow, it tastes like an apple. He said, turn it around. Turn it around, wow, it tastes like a, tastes like a melon. Turn it around, wow, it tastes like a banana. This is a pretty cool fruit. I said, what about that fruit in the jar? No, you can't have that one. I said, why is that? He said, that, that fruit tastes like pussy dad. I said, does it really now? He's like, yeah, then I have to have it. So I ended up taking a bite, and I said, oh my God, Mel, this is the most gross apple I've ever tasted. It tastes like shit. So Dad, turn it around. <laughs> That's my time, ladies and gentlemen, y'all be safe.